Hi everyone, it's Rita Smith, the number one food fairy, and I'm here to do a quick comparison for you, um, maybe give a bit of advice on cooking in cast iron. I have had some young people um, tell me that they're trying to cook in cast iron, but things stick, and since I've made such a giant fuss over telling them that things don't stick in cast iron, they're confused as to why things, let's say eggs, stick to their cast iron pan. So I am going to take a moment to um, demonstrate for you the difference between properly cooking in cast iron and being a little bit impatient um, in cooking in your cast iron. Cast iron has to be hot when the food hits it. The pan and the oil, the fat, the bacon fat, the butter, the olive oil in the pan has to be hot when the food hits it. That's what sears the outside and allows the food to steam from the inside. So if you are, you know, new to cooking in cast iron and you've gotten into some kind of habit of, um, of uh, uh, putting the pan on the stove and putting the food in it immediately before the pan can get hot and before the oil can get hot, what will happen is that the, um, the food will stick to the pan. It's not hot enough to, to get seared and start skidding around in the oil um, immediately. So here's, here's a pan that is not what I would say, I don't think hot enough. Okay, no. Okay, so it's at five, and it's a good cast iron pan, but I didn't let the pan heat for very long before I dropped that egg in, and that egg is going to stick. Now, here's how an egg sounds when it goes into a hot pan that has hot fat in it. This will bubble up and cook in about 30 seconds. This one, okay, this one, let's say, okay, I'll probably be able to flip this one first. This one's going to stick. It's going to cook eventually, but it's going to take too long and it won't be properly cooked. It won't be seared on the outside. It'll make a mess. Whoops. And as you can see, it'll stick to the pan. This one, which went into a hot pan with hot fat. Look at that. It's almost like one solid piece. Whoops. Come on, you. And over it goes. There'll be nothing stuck to this pan when I finish with this. This one which got dropped into the colder pan, it's gonna make a mess, you know, like I can already see that there's gonna be things I have to clean. I'm gonna have to flip this egg twice just to cook it, okay. It's still edible, it's still protein, people will still eat it, but hang on one second and I'll show you the difference between when you put an egg in a not hot enough cast iron frying pan. It's not a great egg either broken. Oh, it's not a great egg. Okay. That was the pan that, it's a good pan, but it wasn't hot enough and the oil wasn't hot enough. And now we'll take the pan that was very hot, that had very hot oil in it. It's a perfect egg. It's a perfect egg and that is a pan that you can clean with a, a paper towel. Okay, that pan, look at the shine on that pan. Oh my God, it's my favorite frying pan. Okay, so Two very good cast iron pans, um, two large burners heated to five. Okay. This one, the pan was very hot and the oil was very hot when I dropped the egg into it. This very good pan, the um, pan was not hot enough. I didn't give it, you know, two, three, four minutes to heat up. I, I uh, oh, look at that. Okay. I, um, the pan was not hot enough, the oil was not hot enough, the egg did not hit the oil and sear, and now I'm going to have to clean this pan. So, the moral of the story is, cast iron is non-stick, I can prove it. Look at that, okay, no cleanup required. Cast iron is non-stick, but it needs to be heated really to the degree that you're cooking at. If you got it at five, you got to give it three minutes to get to five. You got to let the element heat the pan. If you put... Um, your egg or your onion or anything else in the pan before the pan is hot and before the oil is hot, you will negate the whole benefit of cooking in cast iron and its non-stick nature and actually, you know, the fantastic job it does at cooking food. So here's um, the egg that, oh, it's, it's not cooked and it's a mess. And then there's this one, which is perfect. 
I think I should give this one to Forrest because he's been so good this week. He gets the experimental eggs. Um, heat your cast iron slowly. Don't turn it up to maximum. Put it on five. Let it come up to temperature. Let the oil begin to shimmer, whatever the oil is, olive oil, bacon fat, butter. Let the oil begin to shimmer before you drop your food into it. It will sear immediately and slide right out, leaving nothing in the pan. Um, if you use a cold pan impatiently, you'll be stuck with this and you'll be stuck with cleaning the pan. So uh, hopefully that will help. To, and I'm, I'm only grateful that young people actually ask me questions about cooking and cast iron. And if there's anything I can do to make things clearer or more helpful to you, I'm so happy to do that. Good luck cooking in your cast iron. Have fun cooking for your family. Rita Smith, number one food fairy, say goodbye. sick of reality TV I'm so tired of my girlfriend ignoring me I sure could use a little